Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name's Emily Anham. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. And I am here with the first ever declutter I have ever done on this channel. We're doing a whole series, y'all. This is a whole deep dive declutter into my collection. A couple of months ago, I up and moved across the globe and that inspired a pretty intensive, harsh declutter of my collection. Now, before we get into the delicious, delicious declutter, I want to say a couple of things. These are oftentimes disclaimers that you hear at the beginning of declutter. I have been purchasing makeup for years now and I am a lover of makeup. It's my main hobby, maybe my only hobby. I have received a lot of makeup as gifts, as declutter gifts, PR, and I never really decluttered my collection. I have sporadically thrown things away or given things away or sold things, but I had not taken a critical, critical look at the makeup that I was truly using and not using ever, years upon years. So this, it's a lot of makeup to be getting rid of, but that's my story. That's what it is. All of the makeup that I received as gifts, that I've received as declutter, anything that I received as PR, if you're seeing any of that in this video, it's not any offense to the gifter or the person that sent me the makeup or the brand. It was just time to move on from that product. Also, this declutter happened months ago. So please don't ask for any of the makeup. It already has all of its new homes and you would just be wasting your breath. Also, it's kind of weird to ask for used makeup from a stranger. Today, we are decluttering blushes and bronzers. If you enjoy colorful makeup, lots of opinions, and cute fat babes in general, and you want to see what I am decluttering, subscribe and just keep watching. Let's talk blushes and bronzers. <laughs> to absolutely no one's surprise, the In Cosmetic Serum Blushes in Pink Nectar and Sunset Sky gotta go. I did a whole video about these as well. I'll have that linked. Another one that I talked about in that same video is the Patrick Ta Blush Duo. This is the Do We Know Her Cream and Powder Blush Duo. Very pretty in concept, just didn't work for me in execution. These are two uh, liquid blushes from Juicy Pang, or they're by a Pew, and they're the Juicy Pang blushers. And these remind me of the M Cosmetics blushes, but they're not as oily, but they're just a very thin formula that I felt like you can't really build the color, and the color payoff was pretty sheer. So I just I haven't been reaching for them after testing them out, so I thought I would just pass them along before they live too long in my collection. This Jouer palette was decluttered to me, and I thought I would totally reach for this all the time because the colors in the pan, besides like this big topper thing, look really pretty, but I hate the pan sizes and the packaging feels really cheap and I just just didn't enjoy reaching for it and so I didn't. The the blush duos from Jouer are pretty nice. I have one that I'm holding on to that I probably should get rid of. But it's pretty nice, but the, the, the holiday releases, not as much. Oh, 
Okay, Too Faced, let's talk. So I picked up this pink heart blush and a little trio of the little heart blushes, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, whenever they were already kind of off the shelves. I like them. They're nice. Um, but <sighs> that's how I feel about them. And then the Tutti Fruity Blush duos that I have. I waited so long to buy these. So long. Um, and then I did, and I just, I just, I just didn't really fall in love with them. And, and right after I got them is when the Cover FX blush duos came out, and I found myself just neglecting these duos for those. So, uh, time to go. And also, I reach for Mojave Mauve as a pink blush over something like this every time. So, goodbye, Too Faced. I am decluttering both of these blush duos from Kaleidos. I received them in PR. Um, they are definitely pretty colors in terms of the matte formula. The glowy formula is a little tricky as a blush or as a highlighter for me. And I found the matte blushes to fade pretty quickly on me. And I don't feel like I have that happen with other formulas of blushes. And Kaleidos doesn't carry these anymore after rightful criticism about the packaging and the color range and all of that. So I'm just gonna let them go because uh, I'm not reaching for them and they're not even recommendable anyway. A random roundup of blushes that were decluttered to me that I just don't reach for. A couple from The Balm, from Colourpop, from Gigi Gorgeous, and then from NYX. The NYX one is like a hell no. There is something odd about glowy yellow blush. It just didn't work for me. I adore yellow blush, but this formula and the, the glow on it just, it was a no. And all of the rest are just, I just don't care. So this Colored Rain Power Blush Highlighter Duo is really pretty. This white highlighter definitely does that icy, icy look that I love. And this red blush, it's pretty, but it's like a pan of red eyeshadow practically. And it's just not a color that I use enough at this level of pigmentation that I would feel comfortable keeping it around. A nice drugstore form formula that I just don't reach for anymore. LA Girl. These just blushing um, blushes, they're nice, but my problem is that once I have certain formulas that I really love, um, a lot of times, other ones just don't get used because I have my favorites. A cream blush and a liquid blush. Tower 28, this is Beach Please, um, or no, this is Happy Hour, the Beach Please blush and Happy Hour. And this is the Flower uh, Blush Balm in Pinched. I found that the blush balm, especially in this color, was too sheer and I wasn't able to really like build it up the way I like to. And then I found the Tower 28 formula to just feel like lipstick in a compact and I felt like it was hard to control. For me, it was hard to blend out and then it was almost like too much color at first application. So really didn't like this one and uh pretty much same for this for di very different reasons mm -hmm. 
these these are all bronzers that have been decluttered to me and they are all not the right color when you have a friend like Audra who maybe receives bronzers that are not even face powders for them and they are kind enough to send them my way and then they are um uh just just not no they're not gonna work for me so I always appreciate the effort but no also Givenchy terracotta bronzer is the most fragrant the, uh, uh, why did I just sniff that again oh no another thing <laughs> that was decluttered to me is this giant palette of bronzers and highlighters from Tarte and wow the packaging is actually really really nice to, I I no I would never no mm -mm. oh a couple of random bronzers that I actually have used <laughs> that are uh kind of this is a bit of a sad lineup. Uh, I adored this wet mild bronzer and used it to pieces. This elf one was nice, but then I depotted it and then I never touched it again. This is the Kaleidos, um, light medium bronzer contour highlighter. It is nice that that's a mistake, not usage. Um, but I just, I, I don't reach for bronzers often and I have a couple that I already love. So there we go. Another round of decluttering in the books. Let me know if you were surprised by anything I'm decluttering in this round. And don't forget to subscribe to see the future declutters. But most importantly, don't forget to take care of yourself better today than you did yesterday because you are worth it. Bye friends.